Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and this video is Virtual Network Part 3 Transfer a File from Desktop to a Web Server. The outcomes for this video would be to locate a web page, IDE, or Integrate Development Environment in Ubuntu Software Center. In this case, we'll show you how to get to the Bluefish Integrate Development Environment and you may want to download and install it in your uh, Ubuntu desktop and start creating your own web files. This video is not going to actually go into using the Bluefish Web IDE. I will transfer a web page file from GitHub to the desktop. One instance I'll use copy and paste from GitHub and then second instance I'll use Git where you'll actually clone from GitHub a file to your desktop. GitHub is a repository. It has a lot of code that you may want to use in the future. Once the file is on your desktop, I'll demonstrate how to use Secure Shell into a web server from the desktop and back up the default web page and essentially change the name of the default web page to a backup. Once that's done, I'm going to use Secure Copy and take a web page file from your desktop to your web server and then go back into SSH to move the file to the actual directory where web pages are being loaded from. And then finally verify the operation, make sure that everything works. Requirements would be a working virtual network with working virtual web server and desktop as created in virtual network part two of this video series, internet access. And this demonstration uses an Ubuntu 1310 web server with 512 megabytes of memory and Ubuntu 13.10 desktop with one gigabyte of memory and a Windows 7 host which requires at least one gigabyte of memory for a total hardware memory minimum of 2.5 gigabytes so your Windows in this case your host machine has to, should have at least 2.5 gigabytes to get this to run. Additional info we've got some SSH client commands in Unix, how do I use secure copy to transfer files between two computers, uh, GitHub site, and SSH the easy way. This is a LibreOffice presentation from a SSH guru. And disclaimer, basically a lot of research this material, I can't fully verify that it will work with all combinations of hardware and software out there. So I've been asked to include disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read disclaimer. Here's an Ubuntu 13.10 desktop. It's got one gigabyte of memory, though you may need to add more to get it to work faster. You can use another desktop, such as Ubuntu 12.04, which works a lot better inside VirtualBox. Or you can just use it on a hardware machine. But basically, desktop's where you develop your uh, web pages before you send them to the server. So let's take a look at one way of developing web pages, and that's where you get an uh, integrated development environment from your from the Ubuntu Software Center. Once we get there, we click on Developer Tools, and then we'll go to Web. And in this case, we've got something called Bluefish Editor, which is a web development editor. You can download that if you want start creating your own web pages. I'm not going to download it here. Just open it and click install and it will automatically do it for you. In this section of the video I'm going to show you two ways to extract or get download a web page from github.com. Github.com is a place where a lot of code is being stored. It's a rep code repository and you might want to search it and find some interesting web pages that you could download and maybe play around with on your web server. So in this case, I've got github.com, Baba Rayner, and I'm going to take this virtual vocab JS, which basically is a JavaScript page, which means it'll do some action on the web. It's, it's, a, it's a vocabulary quiz, essentially. Here it is, it's virtualization vocab dot htm because a web page ends with a h dot htm or dot html in most instances. Click on open. And I'm going to expand a little bit. And I'm not really going to go into all the details on this, but basically it's, it's give some quiz. It's a quiz in uh, JavaScript. And we'll just scroll down the page. And you just take the uh, mouse, go down, and then you can take your, hit the down arrow key in Ubuntu 
and you should be able to go all the way to the bottom right click copy now if you want to store it you can't use one of these editors like LibreOffice Writer you have to use the text editor in this case I'm going to use the default text editor get it the problem with LibreWriter is that it adds all kinds of extra stuff that uh, will mess up the web page it adds all kinds of extra formatting item that the web page can't understand so I go up here and I'm simply going to type in get it here it's it's opened all I'm going to have to do here is, is just cut and paste and then now it does not come out real nice and neat and get it but it'll still work so I'm going to click save and I'm going to save it in the documents in this case I'm just going to save it with vocab dash js for javascript and click save so it'd be in the home directory under doc documents and if you want to see it there it is under documents and I'm going to cancel right now and basically go ahead and close get it the other way to get it is uh, to use is to actually clone it or download all the files from the repository concerning this and to do that we use a terminal and I'll bring it back over here and so let's install apt get install git and it's going to ask for your password do you want to continue of course yes so the first question you have to ask uh, before you actually use git is you have to ask yourself where you want to create you want to create a separate development directory you want to put it in the downloads directory you're just going to have to choose in this case I'll just say it ls list and I'm just going to take it to this downloads there shouldn't be anything in downloads directory so if I want to have it in the downloads directory I just say git clone git forward slashes two of it github.com Baba Rainer I'm picking all the items from the web page virtual dash vocab dash js which is uh, the actual directory we went to, went to and then put in a dot git so if you've entered everything right you've actually cloned it and now if I look into the downloads directory I do an ls and you'll see it's got virtual vocab js and if you do a cd into and then do an ls you'll see that the virtualization vocab.htm file is down there as well as the readme file from github now you can create some changes and you can keep playing with that or you can just learn how to use github or git but that's beyond the uh, scope of this video just i'm just basically trying to show you how to how to install git and then if you want to pull down a file from git using git that's the way to do it the next uh, video section is going to be how to transfer this file over to your web server okay here we have an ubuntu desktop uh, actually it's a 13.10 version with one gigabyte of memory and a server Ubuntu server 13.10 with half a gigabyte or 512 megabytes of memory and the first thing I'm going to do is to show how to install the secure shell client even though Ubuntu 13.10 has it already installed there may be other versions of Ubuntu that do not come with a SSH client in this case type in terminal hit terminal opens a terminal and the way to install a, a, a SSH client so you, that you can transfer files sudo apt 
get install open ssh open ssh spell open right client and if you want to make this a server you would just simply type server and basically a client initiates a contact and then the server accepts the contact contact I'm going to hit enter and of course you've got the password and you'll notice that it's already installed because it's zero upgraded zero newly installed if you want to make it a server you would simply open SSH server which I, I'm pretty sure is not installed on uh, the desktop so now let's find out the IP address of our uh, server because there's no domain name server on this network so it can't use a name so go over to the server and then just do IP config I'm sorry it should be IF config IP config is the uh, command for a Windows machine so here it is 192.168.48.5 what you do is you use SSH as a command and then you put in the username at the server in my case I've got a username Mike at the desktop and Mike at the server but this is the server username and you go 192.168.48.5 the first thing that comes up if you this is the first time you make a connection it says the authenticity of this host cannot be established and it gives you a uh, sets a fingerprint for this host this fingerprint is actually stored on the desktop and it says do you want to continue connecting type in yes or no when I mean the fingerprint is stored on desktop I mean it's stored on the desktop machine not on your desktop key in yes hit enter and ask for the password of the server so you enter the server password and now if you look down there it's Mike at Lambuntu which is the server SSO1 so the files the web files are uh, actually stored Let, well actually let's go ahead and open up a browser here and we'll take a look at what the server is presenting us and we'll put it down here and we just simply put in the IP address 192.168.48.5 and you see that it works so where they're stored at where the where that page is stored at is in var www and if we do an ls you'll see there's a file called index.html and that's this actual uh, file that you see below in the browser now what I'm going to do is back up this index.html and then bring in another file the file that we downloaded from github and have the Apache web server serve that file to do that we'll do a uh, use sudo because we're not in our home directory and we'll use the mv command which basically we're going to change the index.html to index.html backup password and now if we do an ls you'll see that it's changed the name to backup and now if we go down to the browser take a look at that and you'll see that index.html is default index.html backup is not a default that is doesn't get shown automatically okay I had a small glitch that shouldn't be shown in the video because it might confuse someone but I here I am at back at the command line just SSH into the server and then exited back out and now I'm going to transfer the file that we downloaded from github to the server so in order to do that I've got to go to CD downloads directory do an LS and then a CD virtual vocab dash JS and do an LS again and the file that we're going to transfer is a virtualization vocab dot htm so to transfer it to the server I would use SCP not SSH which just stands for secure copy and then I give it a file name virtualization vocab dot htm then I use the 
name Mike at 192 the server user point 48 point I'm sorry point 168 point 48 point 5 and then I put a colon after that and what this will do is copy this virtualization vocab dot htm into the user's home directory on the server hit enter got a password and you'll see that it's 100% copy. Now to make sure that the web server will serve this file we'll have to SSH back into the server 192.168.5 I'm sorry point forty eight point five password again and so now we're back into the server and we'll do an ls and there is the file so now if you recall that the files are all served at slash forward slash vars slash www so what I'm going to have to do is move this file actually move it and rename it virtualization vocab dot htm to var www and I'm going to give it the name index dot html I could put any name here but the move mv command will take that file and change a name to index put it in that directory move it to that directory and change a name so hit enter password on the server so now if I do an ls you'll notice gone but if I go to cd var www and now if I do an lx you'll see that change the name to index.html now that's a default file for uh, web servers so if they see that file they're going to serve it so if I go down here and hit the refresh you'll see that now I have my basic virtualization vocabulary exercise and the main part of the computer in which other parts connect to I could just sit here and you know go through this and that would be the motherboard computer existence software only that would be the guest operating system down at the bottom of this if I bring this up I can get a score which should be around 20 or 30 I guess I'm not very good anyway so one thing you should do is never be hooked onto your server unless you're actually using it. so I'm gonna log out and that's pretty much it for transferring any files over to a web server you're gonna to have to pick up some more information on how to you know for a web page everything's kinda of linked together you're gonna to have to get some more information on how to do that but this is just basic uh, setting you up thank you